Hey people, how are you doing today? Okay, so today I'm gonna go to go to the temple called Wat Aran, all right? Now, for me to get there, uh, I am gonna go take the ferry that takes me directly over there. However, speaking of public transportation, you could take the MRT, okay, and get off at a stop called San Chai, okay? I'll put the links in the description for the Google Maps and everything so that uh, if you want to come out here, you'll see exactly how to get out here. But first, let's go catch the boat, all right? So as you can see, there are many boats and many types of boats, by the way, that also take you uh, to the temple as well as many different uh, designations. And also, speaking of the boat that I'm going on, it cost me 30 baht, all right? This is where you come to buy your ticket to get inside of the temple. It cost about 100 baht. And uh, obviously, uh, it's cash only. So bring, please bring cash. Ladies, if you are wearing shorts or anything uh, of that nature that is considered, uh, shall we say, inappropriate, they have here some, uh, shall we say, cloths to cover uh, yourself because it's out of respect, all right?
beautiful I am well <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it is the one and only Priya! Hi everyone <laughs> do you know something about this temple? It's my first time so first time Montreal. we are going to discover this temple together are basically going to discover this temple for the first time together and see what we can find out about it in as well as uh, anything that uh, comes up uh, we'll try to show you as much as we can all right so stick with us for the adventure could you imagine going all the way up there you know I mean just amazing I guess uh, my curiosity with this is what is the significance of what's up there because there's got to be some sort of significance. You see there's a idol there. I can see elephant idol that should be Lord Ganesha. Uh -huh. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. Okay, okay. There's an elephant idol there. Ah, okay. On top of that. Yes, yes. To cover myself. <laughs> Yes, yes. It's important. They take that very serious, by the way. Yes, yes. They're quite serious about it. Yes. It's about this temple. So well, most temples, you know, uh, it, you know, according to how you're dressed, which, by the way, I was showing you guys earlier that they do provide, you know, uh, shawls, shawls mm -hmm. whatever you, you need as far as ladies. Uh, and you can take as many as you need that will, you know, at least cover yourself in a way that is appropriate for uh, this place and also gives the respect uh, towards the temple. You're correct. Yes. Side note, one thing to be aware of when you come to these temples, the steps are pretty steep. So just keep that in mind. Of course. She's going to be the tour guide for today. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, speaking of this place, you can also check out, okay, a couple of the buildings that are uh, in this compound, in as well as a couple of interesting sites that uh, I'm going to show you, you know, as we walk along and you'll see for yourself. So as y'all could see, there are many Thai people dressed in traditional uh, Thai outfits. They come here, they take pic very beautiful pictures, by the way. And uh, not only they take beautiful pictures, but as you can see, they keep it within the tradition. Um, so whatever the significance is uh, with this particular temple, that's the reason I believe why they come here and they dress like that. Um, however, if there is something of significance that's going on, I'm going to try to find out to see why, you know, most of the people are dressed in uh, traditional Thai outfits. Can you tell me what's the significance of the, of the dress? Why, why you dress in beautiful outfit? <laughs> what? Yes. yes, just to take photographs? Yeah, okay, so there's no special occasion going on here? Special occasion? Yeah. This is because of the special of Thai. Ah, <laughs> ah, you see? Yes. Yes, yes. That's why we choose to rent this and then we take photos. Yes. Yeah. And yes. is it just here or it could be anywhere? It's just here, here I guess. Right. Yeah. So because of uh, being here, does this um, have a certain tradition or is there something about it that this is why people of Thai, they come and they dress like this? 
Yes. Okay, yes, okay. Yes. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you for ta talking to me, man. All right. My thank name is you. Mikey. Thank all right. you. <laughs> Captain Cup, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you see, when you stop and you ask, you get the answers, all right? So now we know the significance of it. There we go. So let's find out a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit about Miss Priya. So Miss Priya, tell me. By the way, let me tell you a little bit about her, okay? Not only she's a YouTuber, but she also uh, is a airline stewardess, okay? And um, I'll let her, you know, tell you all about her YouTube journey in as well as uh, her journey in the airline industry, okay? Tell me, Priya, um, how long have you been in uh, YouTube? YouTube, it's been, um, I started my YouTube journey in October, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Yeah, I started traveling in October. Awesome. awesome. I, the first country that I visited as a solo traveler was Sri Lanka. Nice. I mean, I have been to a lot of places, but nice. then, uh, uh, that was the first time I started blogging. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah that's when I started my blogging career. So let me ask you something. So, putting aside the YouTube, now, do you think, you know, because you're an airline stewardess, you know, um, that made your, shall we say, YouTube vlogging just a little bit easier because you were so used to traveling? Uh, I don't know if it's easier or no. It's it is convenient. You get flight tickets for free, so of you course. can travel. Uh, of course. You know, at a reasonable price to many countries. Of course. But uh, managing both things is a little difficult. I was trying to find a balance between the two. Uh -huh. Still, I am. Yes. So, if you want to be a full-time blogger, then of course you will have to quit one job. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, but at the moment, I haven't made any decision. I I just want to travel. As right. much as I can, and right. I want to, you know, show people how the con how the world looks like. So, what do you think makes you different from the uh, airline stewardess who also does vlogs and shows no, their I'm lives? No, I'm not different from anyone. Okay, okay, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. That that's for people to say. Like right. they will they will say in the comment section. Okay. How am I different from others? Okay, okay. And honestly, everyone has a style of vlogging. Okay. Uh, everyone, uh, that's that's why uh, you know my bio also says I want to show you the best of the world of through course, my eyes. Of course, of course. So everyone has a different perception. Yes. Like the way you see this temple, I may not see the temple in the same Absolutely. way. Absolutely. And that's for people to decide. You know, yes. the audience who would see you. Yes. They can judge in a better way. Well, how are you different from other uh, yes. YouTubers? Yes. 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 It, it wouldn't be good for me to say that. <laughs> But hey, it's an honest answer, and that's the most important thing, you know. So, yeah. yes. 90% of the comments on my uh, on my videos or yes. on my channel is always encouraging and motivating. Yes. Honestly. Yes. And I feel when I at times when I feel low or I self doubt myself if I should continue yes. vlogging yes. because you know my health should also support vlogging. Like, of course. I flying for 12 hours in a day yes and with minimum rest and then go out and vlog it is a little tough right so I keep you know thinking if I should uh, vlog for more or no but then when I see the comment section it is really encouraging for me and so the audience there they're of really nice they're very motivating so do you ever try to I mean this is just my perception right mm -hmm. do you ever try to look at it from the point of view of Maybe the whole point mm -hmm. is not to try to separate, but in other words, why don't you just vlog where the day is going exactly the way it is, mm -hmm. and, that's the, and that's the story itself. And it's not, well, should I be a vlogger or should I choose to be an airline but stewardess? But honestly, if I show you, you know what, what I mean? <laughs> but honestly, if I show you what my day looks like... Yes. <laughs> it is tiring and I don't want I, to... I can imagine. <laughs> it, is, it is... I don't know what, what's the correct word for that. That's fine, that's fine. And I don't want people to see that side of my job. Like getting okay. up at 2 in the night. 
putting on your makeup to yes. the first sectors yes. then diversion sometimes delays passengers shouting on you they get disappointed at times at various various touch points so they come in agitated they shout at you they need to make them feel at home and all of okay. that i don't want to show all that side and as and as fun yeah, that's yeah, fine yeah. that's fine and it will be after a point in time it will get monday for you all too like oh. showing them the <laughs> routine what routine uh, in real sense we don't travel travel is when we get a layover and layover has to be a day layover only then you'll be able to you know okay. enjoy well The reason why I ask because I know of two YouTubers, mm -hmm. okay, um, who, you know, even though as you say they don't show those things, but like for example, there's this one guy. What he does is, you know, he'll show you going on the flight, but obviously, you know, once he's on the flight, mm -hmm. cuts it, and then once the flight is done, he shows you getting off the flight. <laughs> but when he gets home. He'll share whatever the story is mm -hmm. that you didn't see, wow. you know. So, you know, and because he shares those stories, that's what makes it interesting to go. Oh, okay, man. You know, sometimes, you know, as you say, you know, it's 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 the things that you don't see. That's sometimes what makes it inter interesting. You know yeah, what I'm could saying? Could be, could be. And sometimes when you share that story, um, a you could be letting people know about things that you know it could be information or it could be for example what not to do on the flight mm -hmm. it could be just when you're thinking um airline stewardess don't understand or they don't do certain things mm -hmm. they actually do you ah, see what i mean okay i get it but then a lot of people are already already making content on that Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you see a lot yeah. of content uh, yeah, yeah, on yeah. Instagram. You see yeah. reels or yeah. even on YouTube. Yeah. A lot of people say, you know, what you should not do when you're on a flight or right. how you should behave right. and all of that. Right. But I, I don't see. It's okay. It's okay. I, I just want to. I don't <laughs> travel. You can say. I okay. So let me ask you this now. What are you hoping uh, when someone comes on your channel mm -hmm. what would you like for the takeaway to be you know uh, or at least if there's a message it's okay if there's a message or if you feel as though um, is there at least one takeaway you would like for them to I want to inspire people yes. to travel okay like if anyone can watch my video a video and feel inspired to travel solo yes. yes i i think i would have accomplished what my purpose was to be on youtube absolutely i mean uh, i earlier used to feel scared of traveling solo wow wow i mean uh, traveling from one country to another country yes you at times feel nervous <laughs> yes you know you, i don't know if you do or no yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 uh i i used to feel uh, what if i get stuck in that country oh, or yes. what if like oh, I, yes. i'm not able to get out of that country i that's used right. to feel nervous that's right and you that's don't right. have anyone of your uh, uh what do you say community yeah 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 your there you like you're all Absolutely. alone that used to scare me not anymore yes, right? now yes. i feel more confident like whenever i get time i start so awesome. if someone watching this video or my videos yes. and they feel inspired if she can do it why can't i travel i right. priya can travel alone right. even i would want to travel alone then i think i would uh, feel really good and i feel okay. good about myself so speaking of traveling like are there certain shall we say places or areas that as far as you're concerned you wouldn't travel alone or <laughs> Syria <laughs> you know i mean because let's let's be real like yeah, yeah, there yeah. are certain um, exceptions to solo traveling like of yeah, course yeah. you're not going to travel for example somewhere where it either a can present a danger or b it can pre uh, it can present an, an incident or because you're a woman 
you're at a disadvantage. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So just things like that. Yeah, you know what? Uh, if you heard of this country, Syria, it's it's been on my mind since years now. I don't know right. for what reason. Right. Though it's dangerous. Yes. But I I don't know. I feel like it would be an adventure for me okay. to travel alone to Syria. Okay. Sudan, Ethiopia. I I watch videos of various YouTubers. Yes. Uh, like who've traveled to that country solo. And oh my God, I I just feel someday I want to go there. Okay, and have you seen women travel solo? Not, of course not. You can't. Right. So you're hoping to be the first? Yeah, someday, someday I'll you know go there when things get a little better. Yeah, 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 women yeah, yeah. Can yeah. travel alone. I would want to go there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, I hope y'all have a better idea of Priya, how she thinks and you know and also about her youtube channel about her journey and things like that so please once again i will put the links in the description so you guys can go and please support by subscribing watch the videos give it a like definitely and all of that stuff okay and tell her i sent you okay? If you guys want to go inside of these buildings and do your prayers, ask for blessings, you can do that. And generally, if there's a monk, you know, he can sit and he can pray with you if need be. So with this particular statue that you're seeing, if you want to come here and you want to get prayer or blessing, you can actually go over to this booth and you can pick up flowers or whatever you feel that you want to offer as a blessing and you just put it on there and you say your prayers or whatever you need to say, you know, uh, and then uh, that's how it's done.
basically with this billboard right over here, it gives you the information about the temple, okay? So in case you want to find out anything about this temple, just come to this board, read the information, and it'll tell you everything that you need to know. Nothing like the feeling of just pure friendliness towards each other. You can't get no better than that. Can't make this up. Another thing that you'll notice out here uh, in this temple is that they have many shops and eateries where you can get something to eat, something to drink. Uh, even though when you come to the entrance, they do offer you a bottle of water okay so let me just show you the shops and things like that that it has to offer on this grounds closely down on the waters you can clearly see the fish that are swimming basically up to the top of the waters okay Bell, where about Priya? Yes, right about there. Please give a like and subscribe to Mike's channel, guys. Share this video with your family and your friends. Leave a comment down there. And as always, booyah! Goodbye.